resources, inspiring interviews, business practices, and practical advice to take your art career to the next level. Join Sergio Gomez in today's Artist Next Level and get ready to take control of your career. Well, hello, my Next Level friend. Welcome to a brand new episode of the Artist Next Level podcast. This is a special edition episode in which I am interviewing artists from around the world as they are stuck at home during the coronavirus lockdown. Today, I'm super excited because I have a conversation with Katrina Abramova. She's joining us from Jersey City. And the big question that I have for you is what do you do when everything seems to crumble, right? When our shows cancel, when our exhibitions are canceled, when our you know, plans for travel are canceled. What do you do? So that's the conversation we're going to have today. Well, hi, Katrina. Good to see you today. How are you? Yes, fine. Yeah, happy to be an artist in lockdown. I mean, <laughs> right. not in the lockdown, but happy to be an artist, period. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. We are not happy to be in the lockdown, but uh, at least happy to to still be creative, right? And still be able to do what we do. So, uh, Katarina, you and I, we have known each other through social media and also through the Art Next Level Academy. So, very happy to have you here now face-to-face -face, uh, with or social distance <laughs> through the internet and very excited to chat with you because I love your story uh, that we're going to share today because your case is a very, a very common case of many artists who are experiencing the idea of, uh, you know, perhaps shows that were canceled, residency programs that were canceled, travel plans that were canceled, and all those things happened to you. And in fact, you know, you came to the United States after a trip to uh, India and Europe to France after a big show that you had and you made it almost like the almost the last flight coming in from Europe so like <laughs> this close you would not be able to get in so let's talk a little bit about that experience and then what do you have done as an artist to you know begin that uh, process of adapting to this reality uh, reworking in the studio so we'll talk about that in a minute but uh, tell us a little bit about first your trip your travel what were you doing uh, in Europe and in India, and then, um, you know, the journey to getting back to the uh, United States. Yes, it was my dream show in New Delhi, Inhabited Center, solo show. Mm -hmm. uh, before immigrating to the U.S., we were living there in India. So, uh, the, of course, tickets bought a long time ago in advance, mm -hmm. and the show was uh, uh, signed like eight months before the show, as usually. Mm -hmm. And... Um, then I need to go to France. My uh, boyfriend and his family are living there. I rechange, rearrange paintings, mm -hmm. leave some there for the show that was supposed to be, which is also canceled. Mm -hmm. And I flew to New York, mm -hmm. JFK Airport, just one day before it closed. Wow, one day before. Yeah. That, that is crazy. That is crazy. So, and the whole family came along with you. No, when I was in India, I was traveling alone. My girlfriend, also a Russian girl, uh, helping me with kids. I have three. Okay. Uh, one is stuck in Bali, also artist. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He went there to learn wood carving from the Balinese master. Wow. And stuck there from December because the Chinese uh, air, uh, airlines, they cancel all flights before the entire world. So he's still there? he's still there wow okay amazing so um and are you two able, are, of my kids with me here so it's two, okay wow so that's uh even more difficult when you know you were expecting to maybe get together back again and now uh the family separated uh, yeah. how, are, how are you connecting with him um every, every night every <laughs> because night. of the time differences it's not easy for him, of course, as well. Yeah. You're in a paradise, but you're like kind of in prison and paradise. Right, exactly. Well, Katrina, one of the things that, you know, um, you share in common with also many other artists and uh, including myself, you know, they say that we had already planned things for the year. You know, we uh, plan exhibitions very much months in advance. We prepare the work, we create the work. So you kind of anticipate and you put those things in your calendar. Um, re you had a residency program coming up as well. And now all of a sudden, you know, that's in the air, right? 
So tell me a little bit about um, the residency program that you had planned that you were going to going to go. And is that kind of a totally canceled or is it postponed? What's the situation on that? Uh, it's supposed to be in Austria, Austria and Europe. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was uh, selected. It was like um, through the competition and through a mutual friends artists who I was together in the art residency in university in India. So it's like years of um, uh, building relationship, you know, yes. how it works. And then she sent all of us, uh, like 10 artists from different countries, mm-hmm. um, apologize letter that uh, we will try to do it next year, she said. Okay. So not 2020, but hopefully 2021. 21. Okay. Well, at, at least that is good. And seems like everybody's trying to accommodate the exhibitions that are, you know, postponed. Hopefully they will still happen and it will take time, I think, to, yes. you know, get back in, in the swing of things. So uh, tell me a little bit about that, Katrina. How are you then adapting your life as an artist now working from home? And we see a couple of your beautiful paintings there in the back as well. But uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about, you know, that part. You know, do you normally work at home or do you work in, a, in another space? You know, how are you right now adapting? And, and also the process of adaptation, because as you came and you travel, uh, all the trauma of that and, you know, it was happening and you're being far away. Um, you know, how did you deal with that in a way to start to make sense of things again? Yeah, a few days, of course, I lost, maybe around a week, maybe five days. And usually when you travel and you come home, you need uh, time to adapt. And then yeah. at the same time, world changed. Yeah. So, yeah, I lost some few days. But actually, I wanted to say thank you mm-hmm. because I was uh, already in Academy. I was also doing small uh, work, uh, small artworks challenge with you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I immediately like, yeah, we have a Sergio. Press the button. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio emergency. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sergio emergency for the artist. <laughs> and uh, I I thought, okay, the world is changing. I need to change myself. And I always wanted to be more independent mm-hmm. from the galleries and going physically somewhere uh, to uh, achieve things. Mm-hmm. I always wanted to do be to be more uh, independent and use more successfully internet. Mm-hmm. And f- for me, I think okay, this is the reality. This is we have what we have. I can cry about it; it will not change anything. Mm-hmm. Or I can do what I wanted to do long time ago mm-hmm. and go through things that I fear that I. It's not. Uh, Maybe I don't like me very much. Like uh, I start using TV on Instagram, which I never use. <laughs> okay. It is my like, wow, girl, you are good. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, uh-huh. Yeah, I do uh, things that I start doing art classes online, videos. Wow. I, I did five and uh-huh. I sent it to the schools here in New, Jer- uh, New Jersey and maybe New York, whatever. We don't have now the limitations. We are completely yeah. free, entire world with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how it will go. Also, it's very it is very new for me. I was also shivering, like how will I do classes online with the phone? And uh-huh. I always do a lot of workshops with a lot of people, like 10, yes. 15, 20 people in the workshop. I am interacting with them, and now I have my phone and me. <laughs> yeah. It was like, ah. <laughs> but okay, then you use uh, iMovie, then you editing, then you try to understand how it works then you call your kids hey how it works how it does it yes do exactly hey, yeah. help you. so it's actually fun and i have more time to create mm-hmm. uh, you use um, your mind to find the positive things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with a very bad situation you can find the positive thing i totally agree and i think you you know your experience is one of how does the artist mind work, right? The artist mind, it's about problem solving. When we start a work of art, you know, a painting, a drawing, sculpture, whatever it may be, we're always trying to resolve it, right? So to solve the image or the space or the object. And it's a process of, of uh, trying and testing and see what works. That, that's how art is made, right? Um, and now how we can apply that to also to ourselves, to our lives as we go through situations like this and say, wait a minute, maybe I, just like you said, you know, uh, I'm going to try 
IGTV and I'm going to try iMovie and I'm going to try this and that. And maybe for the first time, it's something that maybe you have been reluctant to or afraid of. All of a sudden you find like, wow, it's actually just another tool, just like another brush that you have never used before. Right. And now uh, I think after this, you know, for as bad as it is, we will all come out with new resources at least all, you know, everybody who's trying, right? New resources, new ideas, new skills that we didn't have before that I think will help us all out, you know, even after this is over. You know, because once you learn something, if, you know, then you just keep, keep doing it, keep improving on to that. Exactly, absolutely. And um, I like the video with the, the ceramic uh, artist. Uh, yes. And I was David. thinking, wow. This is the time to to go to yourself and think, what can I do? Which the new model I can find? Exactly. What I can do, be brave, look for new things, create mm-hmm. something new. Like a painting, we can create a new way of um, sell our art, uh, mm-hmm. give it to people to see or help people with this. And uh, yeah, just be more active. and. All of us uh, kind of introvert, yeah, we mm-hmm. love our world, we love to be at stu- in studio, I love to paint my detailed work, I don't yes. need anyone, I'm listening to gurus, uh, psychological broadcasts, mm-hmm. Sergio Gomez, so many <laughs> things to do, Yeah. but then you need to go out uh, to the world, this mm-hmm. is the transition. Exactly, T- taking and that then, step. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, no, it was so so wonderful to be in my world uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then when you you overcome it mm-hmm. you feel yourself self-confident more self-confident absolutely yeah, i think that's that's key exactly and, and we will not experience that until we try and sometimes we will fail but that's okay you know failure is part of the learning process you know you might do your first video and it's, it's not as good as you wish it was but at least it's your first one, right? And then you go to the second one. The second one will be better and the third one will be better. And after you have, you know, more then it keeps getting better. Now tell me a little bit, which I know you have uh, also done certain things in your own personal life to help you overcome this, like meditation, taking care of your, of your uh, health and, uh, you know, the food that we... Tell me a little bit of, of those kind of more personal dynamics that have helped you also going through this. Because I think it's not yeah. only what we do in the outside, but also how we feel in the inside, right? Sure, absolutely. It's really, it is really helping. And it's free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't yeah. cost you anything. So my morning started with uh, shower, then mm-hmm. cold shower. This is very important. Cold shower, whatever. Oh. You have a temperature, you're tired. Whatever is happened with you, doesn't matter. Cold shower. And then it's very important to just do all your body like this. Oh, really? I never tried yes. that. So, and so like tapping, tapping yourself in the body? Yeah, <laughs> just strongly. I don't want to do it with the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, the head, yeah. The head here is your immune system here. So in the chest? Just. You so remember that... all the movies and cartoons? They do like this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. This is the, our immune system here. So... If you do it, even your skin is red, it's uh-huh. super, super. Really? Do so... it every morning. For our friends who are listening to a podcast, I'm just going to describe it. So tapping yourself in the chest, shoulders, and arms. Okay. The whole body, self-massage. The... Oh, okay. Uh, then... You can use uh, coconut oil also. Just your whole, whole body with coconut oil. Then you're tapping yourself and you can do some massage, whatever you have any tools, mm-hmm. face as well. And then yoga, if you can do yoga or just uh, go to YouTube, find somebody you like to see and listen and try to... <laughs> To accompany this person, uh, find someone favorite that you connected to by intuition yeah. and just do with them. I learned yoga in India, living in India. Uh, and then we do meditation with my daughter. She, we like the candles, we like the oh, wow. uh, aroma things from India. And uh, we just do a few minutes, just like five minutes meditation. It's enough mm-hmm. to to go to your beautiful world, to connect mm-hmm. to the highest realms. Mm-hmm. And then we go to the kitchen, we do juices. Just Juice. uh, very cheap. It doesn't cost you much. Carrot, beetroot, ginger, celery. 
or whatever you have in your fridge. That's how I start and my morning too. Yeah, great use. Yeah. Every day, every day. And then we do smoothies. Then everyone goes to the work, kids schooling. Uh, me here or with Amazing. Sergio Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Or I do a lot of uh, things, uh, writing, checking emails, all this work. Mm -hmm. Then studio work. Mm, of course, calling mom every day. She's in Russia. Yeah. She's yeah. after 67, uh, 65. After 65, all people in Russia must stay at home. Mm -hmm. All of them. Like mm -hmm. you have job, doesn't have job, doesn't matter. You have to stay home, yeah. Yeah, you have to stay home. You have to be... Uh, you have to stop your work. She was a professor in the university. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she, I call her. Then many people, then you try to to be positive all the time. This is something mm -hmm. interesting for you. And connect with people that you love. This is for me yeah. very important because I am immigrant. I, am, mm -hmm. I don't have much uh, close people to me here. Mm -hmm. And it's important to stay tuned with people you love. For me, it's so important yeah. now. Right. Well, Katrina, that is awesome. That's wonderful advice. Great way to start your day. Thank you for sharing it with us. And uh, now as we wrap up the program, I'm sure many of our friends would love to also find you on social media and or website. Where can our friends see more of your beautiful art online? Yes, Instagram, Art Abramova. My name, last name, and art uh, in the beginning. Um, Instagram, Google, Art Abramova. Everywhere, Art Abramova. Art and uh, one okay. more thing I yeah. wanted to share, if you can Google me also Portrait of Dream, this is my project I do 15 years. I paint mm. for people what mm. they want in life, what they want to invite and magnetize to their lives uh, using symbols, Asian symbols from different wow. cultures and countries. This is okay. what my old art is about. Awesome. Mythology, symbolism, mm. uh -huh. connecting people together. Can you repeat the name of the project, please? Portrait of Dream. Portrait of Dream. So if your friends find, look for that on Google, they'll find you through that? Yes. Excellent. Art Abramova, Portrait of Dream. Uh, just Art Abramova and then Portrait of Dream. Portrait of Dream. YouTube as well. Art Abramova. Excellent. Well, Katrina, thank you so much for your time, for your uh, inspiration, you know, in the middle of, of all these frustrations that we're all experiencing. You know, you're finding yourself, you're finding your, your move and uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, we want to thank also, you. yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we also want to thank all the friends who are watching right now. Please share this episode with your friends. You know, if you are on Facebook, share it. If you are on Instagram, put in your stories. If you are on YouTube, share it anywhere, whatever you may be at. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hope you have an awesome day. And then we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Bye, Katrina. Stay tuned. Check out our website at www.theartistnextlevel.com where you will find our podcast library, learn about our upcoming webinars, find resources relevant to your career, and much more. Thanks for listening to today's podcast, and we'll see you at the next level.